Three reasons, okay, three reasons why orphan products are hot. Number one, the science, okay. Uh, we have the human genome and, and, and the, and the um, uh, what we know about proteins, what we've learned in biotechnology is number one, that's what's driving it. Number two, the patients. Actually, the patients should have been number one because they are always number one. And their connectedness among themselves and their level of organization. Um, with the internet and all that that's brought, it's, you've been able to take very rare diseases where people were really scattered before and combine them into a united force of a thousand people who are all saying, let's have something for my disease. And number three, industry, which has recognized that this is a good opportunity, that the system we have in America, capitalism, capitalism if you like, um, just innovation that's driven by people with fire in their belly actually works very well here. So it's a, it's a uniquely American experience. Yes, um, we're having some great um, successes in Europe as well. Hey, they got the first gene therapy, so we'll catch up in that regard. But um, I think in many ways um, the orphan experience is rooted in an American democracy. It started with Abby Meyer and saying I'm not going to take it anymore. I had a friend uh, obscure congressman by the name of Henry Waxman and um, recognized that even though rare diseases are individually infrequent, they're collectively common and, and the American political process is the reason why all of this happens. So that was the foment to begin with. Um, our economic system is the reason why it's, why it's working so well.